Well, hello, everyone. So, uh, this has been something I've been wanting to do for a while. And uh, not just in, in this in general, but uh, video games in its sense. Uh, there's, there's a lot of video games that are basically just the same as board games and whatnot. So, I thought maybe at times we play different video games and whatnot that are... You know, similar to card games, board games, or role-playing games in the same vein of fantasy and sci-fi. Stuff that could kind of um, scratch that itch when you can't get your group together or you can't get a board game night off the ground for various reasons. And the most obvious as of right now would be, you know, we're all going through lockdowns and whatnot and it's difficult to play games with friends. But uh, there are a lot of digital games that you can play that you can have fun doing that with people all over the world so in this first one is a new game by riot it is legends of runeterra and it is a card game which is pretty basic so i'm going to just play a little bit with my basic decks i haven't done a lot of playing other people at this yet i kind of suck at card games in general so this game is free and if you you know are at all into gaming or whatnot you've probably seen the the ads on youtube for this game a dozen times so i'm not gonna replace i'm not gonna replace anything i'll keep it so <laughs> the funny thing is if you notice it looks a lot like blizzard's own card game it looks a lot like hearthstone which is kind of funny to me i feel like the guys are basically fighting each other um You know that blizzard put out <laughs> well league of legends came out from riot and then uh uh i'm not actually going to attack uh <laughs> league of legends came out then blizzard put out uh heroes of the storm which is basically just another moba and they had hearthstone and then these guys put out this game it's like they're basically trying to one-up each other to me which is funny so, if you want to know the basics, you know, slowly after every turn you gain more and more mana. Um, mana cost is up here in the top left corners. And basically take turns just casting whatnot. And you get a lot of chances to cast. Things dropping down. Oh, I really don't want to, but we will, we'll block. This game moves really fast too, I found that. I've, I've had games that, you know, it, it keeps track of what you can and can't do at any one time. So if it knows you can't play cards or play cards in response because you're out of mana or you have no cards that can be played during that time, it just kicks you right out. It just goes, nope, you can't do this. So we're just going to deal one damage to an enemy. We'll do that. Oh, now they're responding. Ooh, well, that sucks. I had nothing in response, so that didn't really do much. So I'm just going to attack with everything. And I feel like that was a confusing thing at first, too, was because the game moved really, really quick at times and just flipped stuff out. I didn't fully understand what the crap was going on at times. Well, you'll play Brawn, I'll play Brawn. So if you've played League of Legends, this should all look incredibly similar to you. You know, a lot of the hero cards are heroes from League of Legends. And they have specific abilities that are very much based on their abilities in-game. Which is all pretty normal. Like, man, there's Geralt, or Garen. Spin to win. And the neat thing is they have different abilities on them. The, you know, heal, they'll level up. The actual hero cards will level up as they do specific things. Braum has to be hit by stuff. Um, 
and oh, that's right. We're gonna have get to choose what blocks me. Which is neat. I can pick what things block what. Like, uh, Garen has to attack a certain number of times. Uh, Brom has to be hit a certain number of times, and he'll level up to a second form, and which is kind of neat. And then at the very end, they actually end up healing every time. So heroes level on your turn. So they're not just disappeared from the world, which is really, really nice. Oh, okay, so he's tossing out some stuff. I stand ready. Alright, that's an animal block. And I have been blown out by this by the AIs. The AIs aren't like super dumb. Letting him kill, <laughs> not letting him kill Gareth. <laughs> or Garen. I keep saying Gareth for some reason. So yeah, now he leveled up. Now he's technically stronger. Our brawn should be leveling up soon too. So now I could do stuff if I wanted to. Can't do a bunch. Don't want to deal with that because that's all units. Yeah. Hold it. Sit on it. Alright, and here's something else. So I had a whole ton of mana, and I left over. Once it drains out, whatever's left up to three will go in here, and that'll be used specifically for spells. So if I pull the spell out, it'll actually just use my, uh, it'll use my, my little arcane mana down here, which is super useful if I really wanted to burn through some stuff. So... I don't have enough mana. Alright, we'll put out... Lux. And then we're just gonna fuck everything out. Brom can specifically have certain people block him. I'll do that. I don't know why I didn't attack with Lux. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do that. That seems stupid. That was a dumb thing. That was a stupid thing to do. Um. Yeah, that's odd. I don't know why... <laughs> I don't know why I didn't have Lux, uh... Attack. Because it's not like magic, if you've played magic. That, you know, as soon as you play a card, you can, you can huck them out there and they can attack. Let's see. Like, just there. It, uh, see, he leveled up. But right there, just went right to blocking. Because you only can put out a blocker for every attacker. And... He specifically drug out something to block, and so I had no other blockers, so I just moved through the block phase. Um, I only have three mana, so it's not like I can cast anything. I do have the attack thing, so we're gonna blow him up. There we go. We're gonna make him do that. Now we're gonna attack. And we're going, ooh, hold on. Sometimes the words go by really, really fast. And so it's it's really hard to tell what the crud's going on. I'm pretty sure probably still won. Yeah, still blew it up. <laughs> and it's cool that you can play um, you can play just against the AI if you really don't want to play against players because sometimes you just get blown up. But at the end, you get experience. Which moves you towards different things that you can unlock. I'm still in the prologue. I, I haven't even fully played this game all the way through. Um, da, 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 for backup. See, I have three generally built decks that you get. These are all the starter ones that they give you. Um, you can go into collection. You can go into your cards. And these are all the cards I have unlocked. Because as you open up chests and stuff, you, you know, booster packs. You open up more and more cards. And you can build decks. Um, deck building is pretty simplistic. The boards are just the what your boards look like when you put your cards on. The little guardians, that little the little guy that's in the corner with you. Um, card backs are just the card backs. And then these are just different emotes that you can do. But um, you can go into building a new deck. 
and you can go and look at all the different regions if you know the different regions of it Damasia, Noxus, uh, Feliord, and it'll just pull up cards from those regions because some of them do have synergies with each other and whatnot. Like they call for specific things like um like this one I've seen plus four plus allies or an allied Senna or Sentinel of Light die, and that's how Lucian will level up. So probably would want actual Senna's or in here because if they die he instantly levels up which is nice but you can have up to six heroes and a total of 40 cards you can toss a deck together maybe at some point we'll I'll do that but i haven't because i think i just suck at this game <laughs> um and i never want to um uh oh so here's expeditions or drafting which is just everyone kind of shares a set of cards and you get to draw stuff. Challenges. All right, so the challenges are basically you get extra experience points towards things and usually there you're playing a specific deck against another specific deck. Yeah. Learn about the powerful spells and spell combos with Jinx and Ezreal. Yeah, recommended for beginners and veterans, so. If we come in here and play this one, I'm pretty sure it'll probably give you a generic start deck. Yeah, Ezreal, and I... Oh, well, I have an extra wave one to use. Oh, that's super funny. So it's actually going to go through and actually teach a bit, because that was a thing I thought was a little odd. It would never really teach me how the heck to play the game. So fast spells, powerful spells, but your enemies will get a chance to react to fast spells or to burst spells of their own. I don't have time for games. Cast Mystic Shot. Okay, that's... Uh, this is super funny, so it's actually teaching. Time so I practice. skipped fully out on this. I went right into battling with AI and had to, like, figure out how to do the combos itself, so... Yep, once you're done, you would push okay. That's actually really funny. A fun smith. All of your spells and skills deal one extra damage. Oh, okay. Cast mix sh Mystic Shot. Click OK. And response with a burst spell. Give me an ally plus two. This is what I ended up doing. I tossed out something and it gave me a bonus so that my Garen wouldn't die. So, I have a chance to respond as well. I couldn't. Moves on. End of round. Hmm. <laughs> Some units create. Oh, this is just affected. Let's try this again. So yeah, if you're gonna check this game out, it's free, and it's I would say go in and do these adventure things because this is actually teaching you how to uh, how to actually play the game. So yeah, because I killed the thing that the spell came from. Yeah, it acts just like magic because I acted first, I countered it. In combat or in response to another spell. Oh, can't or can't be cast in combat. That makes me click OK. So it's. Well, I did. I did select Jinx. Oh, I can shoot against that as well. Duh, okay. Like I said, I haven't played this a whole bunch. It's pretty fun and it moves pretty fast. I don't know how annoying it is because sometimes in, you know, in card games and whatnot, you kind of get, you kind of get screwed if someone got really good draws or they basically bought a really good deck. So playing 
playing um playing this kind of game against the AI is not super difficult. Original three didn't reduce their cost by one. They're trying to use all this. Basically, all I want you to do is cast fast and slow spells. My writing. It's kind of a good. This is a good tutorial. I kind of wish that. Um, I kind of wish it. <laughs> I had played this first to teach. Um, let's block that way. <laughs> yep. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I have nothing else I can play. It's kind of weird it didn't just it made me click pass usually it just goes okay and just makes me go on the slower end oh the cost goes down for each that's actually pretty cool Oh, I'm trying to actually like win the game because now it kind of wants me to. So I'm trying not to like absolutely. Give me a weapon, I'll give it firepower. <laughs> trying not to absolutely eat it doing this. No encore! I'm so good, I surprised myself. Oh, I love that's what happened. I was like, did I win? <laughs> Oh man, that threw me off. Oh, now it's not a slow. Can't cast the spell I wanted to. Um. We'll do that. I'll eat it. I kind of want to keep them. So then now I can boom, boom. Deal this, and that should kill. I should kill her jinx. Yep. And do two damage to that. In my round. Now it's my turn. Watch and learn. Do I have some sort of Oh, when I cast a spell. Okay, I really need to read the cards. <laughs> I have not been paying attention. I need to read the cards. I knew we had it all along. Gotcha. Okay. So, oh, there you go. Do expeditions. They actually teach you how to play the freaking game. I never even realized it. I can't... I swear I've played them before. I swear I've played the expeditions, but maybe they didn't exist when I first started playing this, which was maybe a month or so ago. But, okay. And you can just, I guess, play them over and over and over again. Yeah, I swear I would have played some of these, but... I don't recognize... Oh! Look at here! I have played some of them. Well, aren't I just absolutely silly? I have played some of these. Or for some reason get excited is not huh okay well oh sorry not expeditions challenges so all right well oh i can claim so there you go you can see <laughs> how you gain cards and I think anytime you gain doubles of things, you gain these shards, which I think are used to upgrade cards into other cards. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I think actually that's a, a good first look. Maybe maybe at times I'll actually do more. I'll look at this. Maybe I can get um, uh, Ted into playing it as well, and we can try uh, playing together. But uh, yeah, I guess uh, thanks for watching. Um, I've been Clint. 
I guess you can't see me in this video. It's just, it is just gameplay stuff. But, uh, you know, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Tell us if there's any other games that you think are really good and, and scratch the itch of that you need for playing board games or card games or role-playing games. And we'll try and give them a look if we can. Um, check out our, our Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter. And you can follow the channel on Twitter. Um, we have a coffee. If you wanted to donate to us, which you do not have to, but you can if you want, that'd be super cool. It'd help us buy uh, new equipment or whatnot to get better stuff. And um, yeah, until the next one of these, I might uh, end up doing more. But yeah, uh, and always uh, support your local game store.